Hello everyone, uh, greetings to all. I'm very pleased to be here presenting this paper today. My name is Kiran Kuykel. I am a graduate from Western Sydney University in Master of Engineering, civil major. Uh, in today's presentation, I am presenting the Euro Steel paper 263, the structural performance of blind bull shear connector under static loading. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the contribution of all the co-authors of this paper and special thanks to Associate Professor Olivia Mirza and Dr. Syed Maria Mosini who made this outcome possible. Uh, my presentation includes main four parts which are introduction, methodologies, results and discussions, and conclusions in which methodology and result and discussions are further subdivided into experimental study and numerical study okay let's move on to the first part of my presentation its introduction so composite bridges are subjected to static loading due to its dead and imposed traffic load and high cycle fatigue caused by traffic and the impact of this load is experienced by shear connectors between different elements in this composite uh, structures. Composite action between uh, the concrete slab and steel beam is, is typically achieved by using headed start shear connectors. And demolition of this traditional composite system is associated with, associated with uh, waste and uses uh, a lot of uh, energy hence using blind bolt as a shear connector is an alternative solution for this thing since um, uh, this um, blind bolt shear connector can be bolted and unbolted in from uh, one side only and the performance of blind bolt uh, shear connector under static and fatigue loading uh, conditions are still unknown so in this study the behavior of blind bull shear connector under static loading is going to be investigated. So the main aim of this study is uh, to study the structural behavior of blind bull shear connectors under static loading using direct shear test and finite element analysis method. Moving on to the next part, um, it's about a methodology in experimental study and numerical study. So the methodology of this study includes two parts. In experimental study, static test is used to evaluate the initial stiffness, uh, ultimate strength and slip capacity of blind bolt uh, and headed stud cell connectors. Then the numerical analysis is done with the help of finite element analysis software called Abacus. So the load and boundary conditions uh, applied in the finite element analysis uh, are same to the experimental um, conditions uh, so that we, uh, the results coming out from the numerical study can be compared with the experimental study. An experimental study was undertaken to study the performance of blind bolt shear connectors and headed start shear connector to compare their performance in the composite beams. The main parts of the test specimen uh, were concrete blocks, steel plates, reinforced bar and bar shear connectors, which are blind bolt shear connector and headed start. The test setup for the direct shear uh, test is uh, as shown in this uh, figure number two. As you can see from the figure, horizontal uh, restraint is applied so that uh, uh, the test specimen can be held down firmly in one place and clamping rod are also used for as a vertical restraint so that um, the concrete blocks do not lift during the um, application of load. For the load app applied to the specimen, 5% uh, to 40% of the ultimate load was applied in 25 cycles as initial load, uh, which helped in the stabilization of the setup. 
Then the load was increased gradually until the failure of the uh, shear con uh, connector was seen. Uh, moving on to the next step, uh, methodology of numerical study. For the numerical study of blind bull specimen, finite element software Abacus was used for this purpose and a finite element uh, model was prepared replicating real experiment setup for, uh, for blind bull shear connector. Same size of steel beam, concrete block, reinforcement bars and shear connectors were used and placed exactly in the same place as in test specimen. And the simulation was done to investigate the load shift behavior of the shear connector under the static loading applied. To find the compressive strength of the concrete used in this test, a standard concrete test was done in lab according to the Australian standard and similarly for the material properties of steel uh, components used in this experiment, such as the steel beams, shear connectors uh, and reinforcement bars. The respective test was done according to the Australian standard. Then the properties such as uh, elasti elasticity modulus, uh, yield strength, uh, ultimate strength um, uh, were used to model the test specimen in Abacus as well. To get the more accurate result, fine meshing was used in appropriate parts of uh, parts and mainly in the connection parts. Appropriate interactions between each element of the test um, specimen was applied in the numerical modeling so that it can be as a replica of our experiment. Same loading conditions and same boundary conditions were applied as shown in the figure number 5.3 and 5.4. Moving on to the next step part of my presentation, it's result and discussion. This is also subdivided into two parts. One is experimental study and next one is numerical study. So from the direct shear test we conducted, the load versus sleep uh, graph was obtained as shown in figure number six. Initially during the test, the load, as, uh, um, the load was controlled from 5% uh, to 40% of the ultimate load to the to stabilize the setup, you can see from slip of from 0 to 1 is the not stabilized. Then the applied load was increased gradually up to the failure of the shear connector. Um, as shown in figure number 6 and table uh, number 2, the maximum tensile force was recorded for the headed start shear connector uh, was 133 kN at slip of 2.5 mm. Whereas the maximum tensile force for blind bolt uh, uh, specimen was 143 kN at 6 mm of slip. According to the Euro Code 4 standards, if the slip resistance is at least 6 mm, then the shear connector uh, uh, can be considered as a ductile shear connector. So, from this, uh, what we can conclude is the blind bull shear connector are more ductile and it can be considered as the ductile shear connector uh, than the headed start shear connector. So these are the pictures after failure occurred in test specimen. One interesting thing to notice is that uh, in the first two pictures for the failure of blind bull shear connector, we can clearly see how shear connector has bent showing its ductility and in the first picture we can also see the crossing of the concrete. This shows that the occurrence of the failure of blind bull shear connector was uh, uh, not the capacity of the blind bull uh, alone. That is also due to the local failure of concrete. Whereas from the last picture we can clearly see the um, shear cut uh, failure of headed start shear connector. Moving on, we have the result obtained from the finite element modeling uh, for the blind bolt connector specimen. So from the result of our modeling, the figure number 8.1 and 8.2 shows the stress distribution on the shear connector and the other component. It can clearly be seen that the bolts sank ha have uh, considered um, considerable amount of um, stress accumulated from where it is showing its deformation from its original shape. This is very good match with our experimental results. 
where the bull sang had a bend. And from the figure number 8.2, we can also see the plastic deformation of uh, concrete, which makes a good um, agreement with the local failure seen in the concrete uh, from our previous uh, experiment. Furthermore, load versus uh, displacement curve obtained from the experimental test and finite element analysis were compared, which is shown in figure number 9. Displacement due to the adjustment of the loading is not shown in this graph. And um, so comparing results, it shows a good agreement between the calculated load slip curve of blind bull shear connector from direct shear test and finite element analysis. The direct shear test gave the maximum load of 143 kN compared with uh, 141 kN obtained from the finite element uh, analysis uh, as shown in figure number 9 and table number 3. We can see the comparison uh, is uh, quite uh, in a good agreement. This brings us to the final uh, section of my presentation. So in conclusion, comparison uh, was done between the experimental and numerical study of the blind bull shear connector which shows a good agreement and verifies the result from each study. From the experiment, we found that the shear cut was the reason of failure for the headed start shear connector, whereas bending failure was seen for the blind bolt shear connector. St uh, distribution from the finite element analysis was also showing the bending in blind bolt shear connector, which shows uh, its ductility and it is also shown from the seen from the experiment that Eurocode um, is also um, depicting that the share con blind bolt shear connector can be considered as a ductile uh, shear connector and from both study it is also seen that the local crossing of the concrete uh, was reason of the failure of blind bolt shear connector so altogether we can conclude that the blind bolt as shear connector in composite structure showed significant strength and uh, ductility under static loading conditions. So this can be very good and uh, sustainable options for improving the strength and flexural ductility of steel concrete composite structures. Uh, um, at last, I would uh, like to acknowledge the financial support provided by the Western Sydney University for this project. Thank you so much for your time and attention.